We're, we're gonna record Richard here uh, setting up uh, Oh my goodness, I have to put the propeller in first. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. We'll get a propeller on this plane that he's working on. When they just got through building here, we'll try to get a little video of it. Definitely a unique design. It was a, a real uh, education building this little thing. Um, the uh, I I bought the plants from a company and they were, you know, 15 years old and just not not up to snuff as far as what I had learned about these little planes. So I spent a lot of time retraining <coughs> them and, and then uh, and when you start to build from your own plans, you find all the mistakes. <laughs> So uh, it was fun building, and I've had a lot of trouble getting it trimmed, but the last time I flew it, it seemed to be reasonable. So. Richard's cranking up his rubber band here, and you can see he's got a scale on here so that he can tell how much uh, torque he's got on the uh, rubber band. And the little gauge there basically tells you how many turns and everything on there. Okay, we're getting there, little by little. Now the place where, <clears throat> if you're not careful, you wreck your airplane. There we go. Okay. I last time I said I hope I hope I hope and maybe it'll work this time. <clears throat> it's not climbing very well, but oh there it tried. Yeah, it's flying real nice. That'll be nice. Real nice low flyby there. They fly so nice. Just so graceful looking. Well, this one is <laughs> flying. Uh, Actually, flew bit. rather well. <laughs> the first part of the flight, I don't, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah. It's, it's not handling the initial high torque levels, but it's coming along. Yeah. Thank That's you. neat. Thanks, Richard. <laughs>